Hey guys, and welcome back, and hello if you're new, my name is Sarah, and I make lots of What's For Dinner videos, and this week's What's For Dinner is actually a super budget-friendly and cheap dinner video, so if you're looking for budget-friendly options like we have been lately because we are trying to save, then you should watch this video. <laughs> um, the first recipe is actually kind of a side. I got this from Mandy in the Makings video recently, and it is a pasta salad, and it is super delicious. So I'm just taking this tri-colored pasta. You can use every whatever pasta that you like. I do recommend this one, though, because I feel like this one really works well with it. Then I'm taking a whole can of olives because mama loves olives. Once again, if you don't like olives, you don't have to use them. Um, and then some grape tomatoes along with a handful of cucumber. I think this would be really great with even like some avocado topped on side of it and different veggies you can throw in. This is such a versatile type of salad. And then I'm taking feta cheese, which just really amps up all the flavor. Really delicious. And then we are taking some Olive Garden Italian dressing. You can use whatever dressing you have as well, but the Olive Garden one is great. And then I'm topping off with a little balsamic vinegar just to give it a little extra kick here and there. And this turned out delicious. This lasted for so long. It was super inexpensive. I continue to eat it throughout the week. Everyone loved it. I definitely recommend if you are going to um, re-eat it the next couple of days to add a little bit of dressing each day because it does dry out and the pasta just keeps soaking it up. But we just had it with some cod that we popped in the air fryer and this was a really easy light delicious meal I'm so looking forward to the summer months if you can't tell every recipe in this video is like for cold weather or for warmer weather because I'm over winter next we are making these delicious wraps I got this from Jessica O'Donoghue's channel and I love her if you haven't watched her she's great you need to um, but she made these wraps and you they're super easy, super fast, really convenient, great for lunches. But basically, we just take in some tortilla, some lunch meat, some cheese, and some veggies, and pop it all together. And we're having some pop bowls on the side, and the kettle barbecue, backyard barbecue chips, which are delicious. But basically, um, you want to have some softened cream cheese, and then you're adding some ranch inside of it, mixing it all up, and then popping it on your tortilla for like the dressing. Um, then I'm taking honey turkey, and then we have some sharp cheddar cheese here for my young, my youngers, my little ones. Um, and they had the smaller tortillas, and I did, a, I did top theirs with spinach. My husband and I took the larger tortillas, and we used. Um, some sharp cheddar as well as some pepper jack which was really yummy and you can also add more vegetables into this if you'd like some cucumber and bell pepper which I thought I had on hand and did not otherwise I would have and I will do that next time these are really great for lunches and as the weather warms up perfect for like picnics and stuff like that and like spring barbecues and get-togethers um, just pop them in the fridge in the, uh, the beginning and slice them uh, afterwards because they're a lot easier to cut so just leave them in the fridge for a little bit. This next recipe is a taco soup recipe. This is like YouTuber what's for dinner videos because this is actually from Stacy from Let's Cook Y'all. I love her channel and I got this recipe from her. And it is a delicious taco soup recipe. It's really, really inexpensive, and it lasts for pretty much a whole week. Um, I'm just taking ground beef. You can use ground turkey if you want to go more on the leaner side, but I chose to use ground beef. We're really not seasoning it up too much because we are using two packets of seasoning, and you don't want to go overboard with the sodium content. Um, so after I brown that up, I'm using a whole can of sweet corn. You can use fiesta corn, which is what she chose to use in her recipe. I just didn't like it. Um, um, and then we, ch and then I use Rotel. She yo uh, chose, um, I think, fire roasted tomatoes. I'm also using ranch style beans. I think these are just a southern thing, but if you can't get them up north, I highly recommend using them. They have a really delicious like sauce on them, but you can use whatever beans that you'd like. I am then taking a packet of taco seasoning. I'm not using the whole packet because I am not a big fan of taco seasoning. I don't like really heavy, heavy cumin flavors, um, but I did, however, use the whole pack of ranch, which makes this uh, recipe a little bit unique and a little different. I know some people are totally over ranch. I don't think I'll ever be over ranch. So basically, you're just going to pop all those ingredients together and then taking a whole can of beef broth. I think Stacy used water, but you can use beef broth, water, chicken stock, whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever you have on hand. Honestly, these are so many ingredients that you probably already have in your pantry already and can easily make. Um, I'm just stirring all that together and bringing it up to a nice simmer and boil. Um, and I did, I have seen a couple recipes use cream cheese. If you want to like give it a little bit more thickness, a little more creaminess, you could pop like a 
dollop of cream cheese in there. Um, then you're going to add some fi uh, Fiesta cheese or whatever cheese you have on hand to thicken it up and make it super cheesy. And then I pop some more on top. This was super delicious, really inexpensive, lasted a really long time. It's perfect to get through the rest of these godforsaken cold months. I'm over it. Um, next, I'm making Sloppy Joe's. This is another uh, Let's Cook Y'all Stacy's recipe. Um, I'm taking ground turkey got a little too brown but you know I was wrangling my kids then I'm taking the main part of the base which is ketchup which I mean last least what I think the main part of the base is and then tomato sauce I'm not a big sloppy joe's fan like I really don't like them but guys these were so good if you make anything from this whole video this is what you need to make then I took um, a whole bunch of just regular yellow mustard and some Wooster was what my mom calls it but Worcestershire sauce and pop that on top then I'm just gonna mix that all together and get the flavors all combined and then I add a little bit of brown sugar to sweeten everything up this I, I cannot tell you how good this was so delicious honestly I just eyeballed everything I didn't measure it I just popped everything in together um, I did originally have a bell pepper and um, an onion to go inside of it however I purchased them like three days prior and they already had mold when I cut into them thank you Walmart grocery sometimes it drives me crazy with the pickup because the produce is not always as fresh as you'd like it but next time I definitely would add in um, some vegetables to kind of really thicken it up and add a bit more substance but I did add some cheese to kind of make it a little cheesy and also to thicken it up and guys oh my god Everyone liked this. I'm telling you, this was a keeper. Um, next, we like to chop our sloppy joes with a piece of cheese. My husband had pepper jack. I didn't top it with anything, but that was a kind of fun alternative. Our buns look really sad. I'm sorry. And we just had it with some cheddar cheese, sour cream, I don't know, those, you know, those chips with watermelon. Let me know below if you have watermelon year round like we do. Next, I just want to show you a little blip of my trip. I went to Cape Creek, Arizona for my aunt's 72nd cowgirl rager birthday. And I just wanted to include some of the clips. Um, let me know below if you'd like to see some vlogs. I've had a number of you guys request more vlogs. I actually filmed this whole trip, so if you want to see it, please let me know. I really honestly have no idea. Um, next, I just wanted to share this this like delicious breakfast I mean it was literally just a parmesan bagel with avocado and egg and it was amazing next we went to Harold's in Cave Creek and it was a very like Texas steakhouse type of place and we just were in Texas it kept astounding me because I kept feeling like we were in Texas and I had one of the best steaks of my life which is blasphemy blasphemy for a Texan and rosemary sweet potato fries it was delicious then we went to Janie's which if you live in the area you need to go to we started getting wild and crazy and we had like the little tags for your drinks and they had like buttless chaps on I loved it that one looked like my husband I had so much fun um, but if you are around Janie's you need to go it's basically an outdoor coffee shop during the day and at nighttime they have a full bar and live music with heaters around it was so much fun and I'm not a big partier I don't do that stuff anymore um, but it got a little wild and crazy and out of hand because I was not with my kids and my cousins were there and we had way too much fun but it was so worth it, even though I felt like dumped the next day. Then we went to a bar called Buffalo Chip, which once again was the most Texas bar that wasn't in Texas. This is normally not my style, but honestly, this was so much fun. I just went out with my cousins, and we danced, and talked, and had such a good time. People were literally swinging from the rafters. It was crazy, but honestly, if you were by this place, you need to go. Um, but that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and this random little clips of my trip. Um, let me know below if you'd like to see those vlogs, and let me know below um, if you decide to try these recipes and what you thought of them, please check out Mandy in the Making, Jessica O'Donohue, and um, Stacy from Let's Cook Y'all because they're great and so worth your views. And um, they're wonderful women, and I just want to support them. So, once again, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you very soon, all in my next video. Bye, guys.